hello, hello, hello. I hope everything's working. Um, I don't know what's going on. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I've had the worst time with this tonight. <clears throat> I wanted this to be awesome. Um, it is being really, really weird. I don't even know if I'm really truly on. Guys, can someone let me know? My screen is like glitching out so bad. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this is not going as planned. Um, this has been really difficult tonight. Hi, Alicia. I had even, I had, I have a whole new setup with a camera. I have a microphone like hanging overhead here. Um, and I bought a new capture card just for this and none of it wanted to work tonight. And I am, I want to say almost literally freaking out, but, um, I know it's going to be okay because this is supposed to be just kind of like a, <clears throat> Easy going live stream. Here in my studio, my workspace, that's all it's supposed to be is just an easy going live stream. Let's sew some stuff. Um, but it seems to be glitching out. So we'll continue on. I can't even see comments. I, 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 every time I try to move this thing, it totally, my screen does weird things <laughs> so I'm not really sure about what to do <laughs> how I'm gonna get this to like move my move over so that I can actually talk with y'all um, let me actually go on the live stream here this might work better I can see your comments on this this is what I'm gonna have to use I'm not gonna be able to use my producer so Okay, so last week, how I did it was, if you're on, you need to give me a wave or a thumbs up, even a thumbs down, whatever you can do to get comments, to get your name in a drawing at the end of this whole thing, okay? Because tonight, we're going to be sewing this little thing. I really need studio lights, don't I? This little thing right here, this little gift bag, this is what we're going to be sewing. So whatever we sew on whatever show I do at the end of it we're gonna have a random comment picker so that's why you have to comment at least give me a wave or something to let me know you're here so um, that's how this is gonna go and I'll remind everybody as they come on through the stream um, yeah I'm a little bit frustrated I'm a, I'm a little I'm gonna say I'm a little bit frustrated I really just want this to be like let's hang out it's not going to be like formal or anything, um, but then you get frustrated because your stuff don't want to work, and that is what has happened tonight, but we're going to continue on because I'm excited about it. I'm excited about this whole new page. Um, it is, uh, I hope it will continue to grow is what I hope. So my next investment, well, I've got to work on this camera because I have a really nice camera up here that I was actually going to use for tonight totally is not working um the lighting isn't i need i need more lighting and you know we always need more things anyway so studio lights are something i would really like to have so that i could see what i'm doing so you guys could see what i'm doing so i've got all the material that we're gonna need so we're gonna need an exterior material okay or interior material this is my interior material it's going to be what goes on the inside of this bag, and then it's going to be the top part. Okay, and so then I just picked a solid blue for my exterior material for, like, the outside of the bag. This could be any material. This is just cotton. But if you guys wanted to use some type of, like, a canvas type, you know, something more durable, something that you might make a tote out of, you could totally do that with this. You could use you know different types of material for the outer part and if you're familiar with interfacing you can also interface it so that 
it would have some type of water repellent resistant material in between the two layers okay so that is another idea if you want to go that route and for the drawstrings since this is kind of like for a father's day gift um i just use like twine you could use ribbon you guys you, you could use whatever you know like paracord um to just draw it up like that so whatever you can find you're gonna need um some of that and alicia had commented on a picture does she have to have vinyl no you do not have to have vinyl all the vinyl is for is for decoration to do that see-through clear window there if you don't have vinyl and you don't want to go try to find it right now because you know crafting materials are slim to none you don't have to it'll it'll just be one solid piece that's all it is so you do not have to have vinyl i chose to do vinyl because it's it's cute i had it on hand i've made these bags you put candy down in there you just put all kinds of little things down in there and then you just give it as a gift that's all this is for so it was to me i thought this was a cute little father's day bag you could use any type of material to suit whatever you're wanting to do so that is that um so there's my girl she's having phone time okay honey I, i'm not gonna do that right now yeah, you stop talking for a bit. Okay. Do you want to help me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, sis, you got me distracted here. You, Sorry. Because I I'm wanting her to help me, and then she gets phone time in the evening, so we share my phone, and she's been having phone time with one of her friends, so. <laughs> okay, I'm going to lay these out on the work table, guys. And uh, we're just going to get started here, show you kind of what we're going to do. If I can remember, I've made these, but oh my goodness, you know, after a while, you kind of forget. <laughs> like, what do I do? So, um, we are going to start with this piece because this piece is the inner, inner piece, okay? So, we're going to flip it um, like this, okay? And then on the ends, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of fold it like this, maybe half an inch, not, not too much, about half an inch. I'm going to go over to my ironing board. I wasn't able to get the camera situated like I did last week, so you guys aren't going to be able to see what I'm doing over here. I'm actually going to iron that down. Just like that. Just to press it and hold it. You could also pin it if you wanted to pin it. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same to the other side. Hi, Tina. I'm glad you commented because now you're entered in the drawing. I'm going to do the same to the other side, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to press it down. Just like that. Okay. So here is this. Um, now we're going to flip it over. Okay, let's press down, but now we're going to flip it over, print side up, and we're going to lay this one over it. Actually, we want to make sure that it's even, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I actually need to cut it a little more. I'm going to kind of get a, like, a little seam, you see there, just so that we can see the center, but I'm going to make sure these ends are straight because... Once we get in here doing the sewing business, if our if our material is not straight, it's gonna mess our it's gonna mess it up. So I'm gonna try to cut it so that everything looks good and perfect. Let's do it again. This side actually looks better than the other side. It might not need much. Just shave a little bit off, just like that. Okay. So there's the center of that, and let's go ahead and fold this one over and do the same so that we know that everything's correct. And you can also measure, you could measure it from side to side if you wanted to measure it, but I'm eyeballing it, guys. That's all I'm doing. So I'm going to match up these little creases 
Just like that. Okay. So we've got our inner and our outer fabric. Um, hey, Carolyn. Oh, I lost my trash can. Okay. So now, guys, we're going to draw the little window on. So you want to do about a five by five. If, the, if you're gonna, not going to do this, if, you're, if your piece is just going to be a solid bag, you don't have to do this part, okay? You can totally skip it. This is how we're going to put the window in. So um, we're going to have it, we're going to have it kind of centered. So I'm going to fold it again just to make a crease so that we can kind of see where we're going to need it. And I'm actually going to press it so I can see better. I'm going to press it just like that. Now I can see where the little crease is, and that's the center of the fabric. So it's going to help me. Um, so now we're going to flip it this way. I hope I'm doing this right. I've made these, but when you're live, there's something about going live that makes you totally nervous. You lose focus. <laughs> um, okay. So we are going to take our little, well, here, let's use this one. This is like more of a template. We're going to take it and we're going to go up about one and a half inches, kind of center it just a little bit like that. You want to do that because up here's the drawstring and when you pull it, um, it's going to cinch this up. So you don't want this too high because it's going to cinch up your window. Um, so you're going to want it about one and a half inches. And I have been searching for a pin of some type. Let me grab another pin. But searching for a fabric pin, and of course the stores here don't have them, so I'm going to have to get one out of town. But now we're just going to kind of trace, you're just going to kind of make yourself a little outline on your fabric so you'll know where to sew. Okay, still can't, you guys can't see that, can you? I can't even see that. Let's try it again. This may not be the pin I need to be using. Well, does it work? Does my pin even work? Okay, it works. Does that work? Oh, see, yeah. Can y'all see that? Okay, got it. <laughs> now I'm going to do it on all four sides. I wish I had that camera up so that I could actually look at you guys and speak to you, but things just weren't working out. Okay, so there it is. That's what we traced. Now, um, we're going to need to pin it down because now we're going to sew around this and we're going to cut that part out. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take you guys over to the sewing machine. Um, I am using, let me see if I can show you. <laughs> this is harder than I thought. How can I get it over here? A dark blue thread. Can you see that? A dark blue thread is what I'm using for this project. <clears throat> Okay, so I've got this, this thing right here is called a walking foot. Um, it helps. It's got little um, feed dogs underneath. So there's feed dogs down here and there's feed dogs on underneath this walking foot to help sew it through. I really like it. I don't use it for everything, but I really like it for this project because once we get in the vinyl part, the vinyl is sometimes really hard. So, um, okay, so we're going to get going here just sewing along that outline is all we're doing. We're sewing these pieces together. So I'm going to pivot and turn. I'm going to continue to sew. Pivot and turn it. Come off a little bit. It'll be alright. Just like that. One 
more time, pivot and turn. Okay, come off just a little bit, so I'm going to back it up. I'm going to make it meet this stitch, back stitch a little bit to secure it, and voila. Now we can go back to the work table, and uh, I can show you guys um, what's happening here. So I'm going to take these pins out. Um, where did I buy the clear, Alicia? The vinyl? Well, I had it. I've had it for a long time. Um, I believe, like, craft stores should have it. Um, Walmart has it also. Um, most of the time they have it. And I feel like they should have it right now because it's not cotton and nobody's making masks out of vinyl. <laughs> it's just a, like a clear, just a clear piece of vinyl. That's, that's, you, you can find it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this piece out. And I like to use my little rotary cutter because it seems to get a fine, clean cut. Just like that. And then around this way, trying to be careful not to cut my stitches because if I cut them, if I cut that, then we're going to have a mess. Just like that. Now I'm just going to kind of go around and clip. Just like that. And then we're just going to discard the... <clears throat> or you could save it if you're going to do another project of some kind. Okay. So this is the fun part. We get to flip it. We get to flip it out. So we're going to take this piece and we're going to turn it inside out. Just like that. You stay in there. You stay and you come out. So this is kind of it gets kind of testy trying to flip it out because <laughs> You're trying to pull it to the other side. And we're going to press it after we get it all turned. Well, so you can kind of see what it's forming. It's forming that outer layer. This is going to be the front of our bag. So we're just going to try to pull it through there. It's really tricky because you want it to look smooth. See, this other side looks really smooth. But this side, for some reason, every bag that I make, that outer layer, and it may be because if we were to sew it on the outside, like instead of sewing it on the side I did, flip it over and sew it on that other part, it might actually turn out better. So if you make this and you want to try that, let me know how it goes. I may try it on my next bag that I make to sew it on, on the flip side. So I'm going to go over to my uh, iron and I'm going to press this down so that it's easier to work with. Um, and then we're going to sew that vinyl on. I sure do wish I had that camera over here so that you guys could see this part. Um, I don't know how much more my little computer can hold. <laughs> this is, this is a, uh, pretty much like a gaming computer, so it's supposed to be able to handle quite a bit, but I think that's why my big camera is not working. When I hooked up the capture card, it froze everything up, so I've got to figure out what is going on. It may not have enough power to, to run that thing. Okay, so I just pressed it down like that. Um, so now we are going to Flip it this way, okay, and I'm going to go back over and I'm going to kind of press it again. I'm going to work these in. This is just kind of a tedious little little bit, but once we get past this, everything will be okay.
Okay, just like that. So now we're going to take our vinyl. And remember, guys, this is the inside of my bag. So this part would be the back side of the front of the bag. So I am going to try to pin. I should have cut this a little bigger. I was kind of in a hurry. I'm going to try to pin it down so that it stays put just so I can flip it and pin the top. I'm trying to pin as close to the seam as I can, just like that. Now I'm going to do all four sides so that it holds it down really nice. I'm really not liking this part. I wish I would have sewed it on the other side now. Come on. I'm really messing this one up. Let's repin that. We gotta make sure we get it right because if I don't get it right, nothing's gonna sew together nicely. It's not gonna lay right. Alicia, thank you. I'm still trying to get the hang of this whole tutorial thing. I really want to do this, but um, I know that I'm, I'm kind of a ways from where I want to be with it uh, as far as the angles, and I wish I had that other camera up and going. So I'm just going to try to pin it on down again. Patrick is usually home on Friday nights, but he's not tonight. And so he said, how about next week? You teach me how to make something. And I'm like, you're going to come on the live stream? I don't know if he really is going to get to me. If he's not home, then of course he won't. But I thought that would be fun. I really wanted Chloe to help, but she needs her phone time, her friend time. So I'm just going to let her do that. So I don't know if these are going to be on Thursday nights. I planned them that way, but it's not working out that way. Okay, one more side. Hi, Cindy. Give me a wave so that I can, um, you can be entered into our drawing at the end. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the sewing machine, and we're going to top stitch this all the way around, and I'm going to try to stitch as close to the edge as I can. Now, sometimes when you stitch that close, um, it jams up, and it gets caught down in the feed dogs, but um, with the walking foot that I have, I didn't have a problem with these uh, like I had before, so okay, guys, we're going to give it a try and see if it works as good as I'm hoping get my bouncy ball <clears throat> don't you just love the smell of new fabric or the smell of sewing machine even the sound is pleasant <laughs> Cindy you totally belong here girl <laughs> I agree this is my happy place this room is my happy place it has all my favorite things in it Okay, so I'm going to try to get that as close to the edge as I can to just top stitch it on. Um, and I'm also going to turn up the tension because I want to make sure that, that my stitches aren't too loose and that this backing does not come off because that would be horrible for anybody that gets this and it falls apart. I would be so embarrassed. Thank you for the wave, Tina. Thank you. Okay, here we go, guys. We're going to get to sewing here. Slowly, slowly. I'm going to back stitch a little bit to hold that in place. I wish you guys could see that I'm getting super close to the edge. My walking foot. I This was like a wonderful investment. I don't make quilts necessarily. But I don't think you have to make just quilts to use these because it's working great with this vinyl and it works great with that faux leather that I use. And the sequin fabric. You just have to be very careful with that sequin fabric. Okay, so here I'm going to pivot around. I just don't like the way this laid though. Okay. 
It'll be unique, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm going to have to try to move this myself because it's kind of stuck. That vinyl got kind of caught, but it's not a problem. You can do that. It's not going to mess it up. You just put your stitch back down in there to make sure that you're going to be sewing where you want to sew. I'm just going to kind of ease it through, making sure my fabric's laid flat. So, so, so. I hope that's not getting in the way. Okay, now I'm to the next corner and I'm going to pivot once more. Just like that. <clears throat> I'm going to slowly, well, I say slowly. It's like left foot over here on my pedal. Slowly just continue to sew as close as I can to the edge of that. I really wish this would lay flat. Okay, now I'm going to pivot one more time and we're almost done with this. That's everything's okay there. Okay, here we go. Whoops. Come on. This fabric wants to kind of jam up, which that happens, but you just got to work it down. Don't force it through, but just work it down and hold it tight. Work it all the way around that vinyl. Okay, now I'm going to try to meet these edges up if I can. You got, whoever gets this, if this don't turn out, y'all are going to have, I'm going to give you that other one because I'm just not liking the way that laid tonight. Okay, back to the work table. Okay, so now we're just going to turn this over. And as you can see, um, there's a little bit of a hangover on the vinyl right here. So we're just gonna trim it around as close as you can without cutting those seams, without cutting that stitch. Um, fabric stores are very sparse in Maryland. All I have is Joanne Fabrics, which is 30 minutes from me. Oh, and Joanne can be a little more pricey than Hobby Lobby or, or Walmart because I noticed that um, if you catch Hobby Lobby on a good week, you get that 40% off, <laughs> which with Joann's, um, you know, you don't. I had bought some fabric from Joann's not long ago. And I spent quite a bit in there and I was like, oh, that, that, that hurt, <laughs> but I really wanted the fabric. Okay, so I just trimmed it up a little bit, um, and that's the inside. So now we're going to flip it over, and that's the outside. And I'm going to see see if I need to trim some of this thread. Just trim it a little bit, just like that. And now we can move on, guys. This is going faster than I thought it would which I, I'm, I'm thankful, but I'm just, I'm just not really excited about this, which it could give it like a unique look, you know, the window part, which is a drawstring bag anyway. So now guys, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to sew the edges together, but we're going to sew the edges together separately. So <laughs> it's kind of tricky, a little bit tricky. Um, we're going to match up this with this. Let me get my pins. The outside bag, we're going to match it up together. Okay. And you're going to pin it so that it'll hold. I'm going to make sure you get them corners right. Because I, I like to start at the corners when I sew and I want to sew down. Okay. So that it's not real crooked as I sew up and then maybe have this up here not centered. So I'm going to pin it. 
Okay, then we're going to do the same with this. Print sides facing together, just like this. We are going to pin it, and I like to start up here at the corners and make sure that they are even and they're, they're together, and I'm going to pin them together, both sides. I'm going to make sure everything is squared up. Now, we're going to take this back to the sewing machine, and we're going to sew this part together, and we're going to sew this part together, and it's going to be separately, and it's going to be on both sides so that we can turn our bag inside out and have two different, um, I guess, linings, but you'll see. It'll work out. You'll see. Okay. Back to the sewing machine. So I'm going to start with my lining piece. So I'm going to take this part and just fold it over so that we can sew this together. Let me get my thing in case I miss somebody here. <clears throat> it's a labor of love. <laughs> I love this. I absolutely love this. Okay, so I'm going to take my pin out, but I'm going to make sure that I keep them I want to make sure that I keep my corners together, and I'm going to just kind of pull it a little bit just like that. I'm going to place it under my walking foot. Just like that, and I'm going to go probably, let's see, three-eighths, just right on there. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And I'm going to get started. I always want to backstitch, and then just sew, sew right straight down. I got off a little bit there. It'll be alright. Back stitch forward. Okay, where's my scissors? Okay, we're done with that one piece. Now we're gonna take this. I hope you guys can see this, and we're gonna tuck it under so that we can sew this top one. So I'm gonna take that pin out, and I'm gonna make sure my corners are lined up, and I'm gonna stick it under there about the same spot, about three eighths on the machine. I'm going to backstitch it and forward march. Just like that. Ta da! Okay, I'm going to clip off my excess of my thread and we're going to do the same thing to the other side, just like we did. So we're going to flip it over, and I'm going to start with the blue because it's underneath, and I'm going to fold this top part, this lining part, over. I'm going to make sure that my corners are together. I'm going to put it under my walking foot, three-eighths. It's kind of off. Hang on. I don't want it, I don't want it that off. Okay, let's try this again. Back stitch it. And just feed it through. Or let it feed itself through. You don't have to force it. It's kind of off a little bit. We're going to cut off that excess. All the way down. Back stitching. Cut off my thread. Okay. One more time, I'll take my pin out, square up my corners, okay, oh, my thread came out, hang on, re-thread, malfunction, it's okay, just got to put it back into the needle, I guess I didn't have it pulled enough, come on. Sorry guys. I mean it happens, but <laughs> I wish it wouldn't happen during a live stream. Okay, try it again. Make sure I don't have that caught because if you don't sew that with it, you're going to have a terrible time. Back stitch forward. Just like that. Okay, let's head back to that work. 
table and we'll take a look at it. All right. So I'm going to trim off. I'm just going to trim off some of this excess thread because we don't want that everywhere. Um, now, what you don't have to do this, but I like to do it because I said last week I love these things. They're absolutely my favorite, these pinking shears. Anytime I am able to cut some fabric with them, I love it. I do it. So just because I can, <laughs> I'm going to cut the edges of this because there's a lot of fraying happening and I, and I just kind of want to clean it up a little bit. So I'm just going to trim off the edges. You can do this with regular scissors if you just kind of want to clean up your edging. Just like that. Okay, other side. So when we go to our local Walmart, um, what's so convenient is the crafting section is next to the hunting and fishing section. So Patrick can go do his thing, I can go do my thing, and we're both happy. <laughs> I'm just like, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> so I'm going to trim the rest of this one just to kind of even it up a little bit. If you're popping on, guys, give me a wave or something because at the end I'm going to do the drawing. So I want to make sure that you guys get in on that because I'm going to give this bag to somebody. And I hope it's you. Okay. Now, here we go. It's all sewn together. It looks crazy, and you're like, what in the world is happening? Is she even, does she even know what she's doing? I hope I do, because here's the moment of truth. We're going to take this blue piece, and we're going to pull it around. We're going to pull it around that piece, okay? And then we're just going to work it and work it. Work it in. You want to push out your edges just like that oh okay malfunction we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fix this let me show y'all what I did this seam right here is not completely sewed I don't think you guys can see my lighting is terrible and I have a, I have a light above but okay so we're gonna have to undo this we're gonna have to if this happens I need to remember where it is. It's right there. So I need to re I need to restitch that. So I'm going to go back to the sewing machine. I'm going to pull this back around. And it happens, you know, not every project can be perfect, especially, you know, when when you want it to be or when you're in a hurry. So I need to turn it over. And when it went crooked on me, that's what happened. It didn't pick up. That understitching did not pick that up. So I'm actually going to sew it on this side so that it will be one solid line. So let's go back to the sewing machine and fix this. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of start where I had already sewed. And I'm going to go ahead and do what I usually do, back stitching, back stitching. But then I'm going to kind of maneuver it, my fabric, so that it sews on the outside of that, just so that it will be one seam. Just like that. And then I'm going to match it up with, with the seam that I had already sewed. So just right back into it. Just like fade it back into it. All right, that should be good. All right, I hear footsteps. I think Chloe's coming back. This was like actually her idea to make Father's Day gifts and she abandoned me, but that's okay. Okay, so now let's try to flip it again and see if it actually gonna work this time. Oh. Oh my, even the love, the sound of the scissors. I haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> I'll show you the fabric that I believe I'm going to use next week for the project that I'm going to make. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to poke these corners out. Hopefully now I won't poke through the seams. 
I hate when that happens too, but yes, it is an easy fix. I'm so glad that it wasn't something stupid and uh, like it ruined the whole live stream. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. So I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna make sure everything is proper, um, secure, so it looks good. It looks like it's gonna work now. So I look like it looks like I need to clean up some more thread because it's coming unraveled a little bit. But we're gonna take care of that. So okay. Um, now this part that we had ironed down. We are now going to take it and fold it down. This is going to be our top piece. We're just going to fold it over that fabric, just like that, on both sides, and kind of tuck it in, pull out. See these little straggle pieces that keep coming unraveled? I should have pinked those off. I should have sheared them right off there. Such an eyesore when your thread is sticking out from your projects. Okay, so just like that and I'm going to even it up a little bit we're going to just kind of make it look good because this is going to be our drawstring time we're going to we're actually almost done guys all we got to do is top stitch this put our strings in and we are totally done see how easy that is you can totally do one of these and if and if you get the hang of it and you're, you make them and you make them and you know the process um it won't take you no time at all and you can whip up a whole bunch of these if you had a whole bunch of people to give them to Okay, so I want to make sure I got everything kind of lined up. I want to make sure that these seams right here are kind of lined up together because it's not a big deal, but for appearances, it's a big deal. <laughs> you kind of want to make sure it, it's it's kind of together. So I'm going to go ahead and get my pins, and I'm going to kind of just pin that down right there so it doesn't move around a lot. And I'm going to do the same on this side. I kind of want it to stay where it needs to stay. Just like that. So I'm going to take this over to my iron and I'm going to press it on the inside here. And I'm going to flip it over and press it on the inside here just to hold that down. I think my iron went off, but it's still kind of hot. I'm going to turn it back on. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the sewing machine, and we're going to top stitch up to the very top, and we're going to top stitch right down here. And that middle piece that's left open is going to be where our drawstring ropes are going to go. So let me take you back to the sewing machine. I got thread, and I've got all kinds of stuff all over my floor. If you guys could see my floor... Oh my gosh, that would be so embarrassing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this piece off right here that's under my machine because, oh, I hope this isn't moving too much. Okay, I'm going to try to turn it. I don't know how to turn it because <laughs> I'm going to have to fit this right up in here. Slide it on like a glove, guys. Slide it on like a glove. Work it in there. Well, work it in there without moving it too much. I'm trying to keep it at a good angle for you guys to see, but also not messing up my project. So I hope you guys can see this. Okay. So I'm going to actually start at the seam on the side, uh, and I'm going to put my needle down just a little bit so I can see kind of where it's going to go. And that's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to go ahead and take this pin out and gently start sewing. Because this part, um, easily, it could get twisted. And it's happened. And it's frustrating when that happens. So we're going to try to hold it tight. Let the walker, walking foot do its job and feed it through. Slowly, slowly, and just let it work its way around. And it just walks walks it around really nice. The top part's the easy part. It's that bottom part sometimes that doesn't line up just right and it gets twisted. And then trying to sew over this edge part here. Oh, that went good. Okay. Making our way around and around. 
just like that. And then we're going to want to meet that right up. We're going to want it to fade into that part that we started at. So you're going to sew right into the beginning of your of your stitch and then back stitch. Make sure that it stayed and that it's secured. And i got to find my scissors. <clears throat> Trim that off. Okay, so we're going to do it one more time. And we're going to do the very bottom. And again, you would want to start, just for presentation, you would want to start at that side seam. I can get it under there. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Okay. So I'm going to stitch it kind of as close as I can to the bottom part. Okay. Back stitch. Oh, don't get too carried away here. I'm going to feed that through. I'm going to make sure it's even as it gets started. It's already wanting to ravel up. Okay. I'm going to let my walking foot do its job here. Come on. There we go. Well, it kind of straightened out, but it gets caught. I'm glad this is the drawstring part because it's going to be cinched up most of the time anyway. And around and around we go. Just feeding it through. Just try to kind of help it over this, the bunched up, where it's bunched up right there where the seam is. I want to help it over that. There we go. Okay, now that we're coming back around, I want to make sure that it's going to meet that other seam. So it just kind of flows in, and then I'll back stitch it, and we'll be done. Ah, can't get it off. All right, we can go back to the work table and put our drawstring in. Woohoo! Y'all, we're doing good tonight. We are doing good. Thank you, Tina. I really, you know, it reminds me of a pool. Like the whole block work. <laughs> it reminds me like the vinyl when you're looking through the vinyl into a pool. You know, those Intex pools or Intel pools or whatever they're called. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of after I put this other one together. I was like, oh, dang, I need to go swimming. <laughs> Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this thread. I'm just going to try to clip clip these off. Don't clip the fabric. Just clip the thread so that it's not hanging everywhere. Just clip it off inside and out, up and down, wherever it's hanging. That's another eyesore. How's the garden? I got plants in the garden, but they're itty bitty. Like they're, they're still baby plants. I got a really late start because I was afraid to put them out because the weather was crazy, but they're in the ground. Um, they're doing really good. So they've been out for a week now by themselves. My babies are growing up. <laughs> they look good. That would make a cute lunch bag if I had an insulated liner. You Yes, Cindy! And if you do that, please share. Post in the group and share it with everybody. That would be awesome. That would be so awesome. Okay, so this is where you're going to want to get your handy-dandy seam, seam ripper. And I hope you guys can see this. Let me see if I can get somewhere. This is crazy. This side part right here that's sewed together, you're just going to want to take your seam ripper and you're going to, yes, you're going to want to rip them seams. I know, guys. It seems crazy. You just sewed this thing together. Now you're going to start tearing it up. But prom I promise it's what you're supposed to do. So you're just going to want to rip a little bit of them just so that you can poke that rope through there, okay? Or your ribbon or your paracord or whatever you're going to use to make that drawstring with. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just going to just rip a little bit of them just so that you can poke it through there. You're going to do that on both sides. So I'm going to go back to this side right here. Looks like I got a really good, really good sew on that one. 
Okay, there we go. Just gonna rip that seam out. So, I have one of these little doodads. If you do not have one, do not fret. Uh, last week I explained you could use a safety pin. If you know that trick, you could use a safety pin and you could feed that twine or that rope or whatever you have. Oh, there's my phone. You could feed it um, through. So, here's my rope. I have two pieces of this. Um, they are about 24 inches long a piece. And you're going to want them that long because it's going to go all the way around. Okay, you're going to need it all the way around. So with this, I'm going to need to tie like a little knot right here because on the end of this, it's got a little loop and I'm just, I'm just going to have to do this and I'm going to pull it. You see it kind of tied it. I'm going to get better lighting guys. This is not good. I want you guys to be able to see in detail. So where I rip my seam, I'm going to poke this through out to the other side, just like that. See? Then I'm going to take where I tied the knot, put it there, and then I'm going to slowly pull it through just like that. Okay? And I'm going to take that off. Now I'm going to flip it this way. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab that end and I'm going to pull it back to this other side. So what we're wanting to do is make sure this wraps all the way around the bag to the other side and tie it, tie both ends. So I'm going to poke that through, loop it in that knot, and pull it, slowly pull it, just like that. So we got one side done. Woohoo! So to make sure that stays secure, I'm going to go ahead and tie this, tie these ends together so that they don't come apart and I don't lose it, like pull it back through and then totally mess the whole thing up. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Is there about swimming? <laughs> Does it remind you of a pool liner? <laughs> I don't know where my seam where my seam ripper. I will be using ribbon, so I put safety pin. Yes, that's a, that's a really good way to do it too. It's a conventional way to do it. Totally works. So basically, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but I'm gonna make sure that the ends are gonna come out this side over here. So I'm gonna start here. Do I want to start there? Wait. Anyway, either way, it'll work. I'm gonna start here. Gotta tie that knot. We're taking a little day trip tomorrow to take my son because he's wanting to do some leather work and he found a store that's not too far from us. So we're gonna take a drive tomorrow and I'm hoping that I can stop at some type of a crafting or fabric store because that's just what I do. <laughs> So I'm hoping they won't um, tell me no. Okay, I want to make sure I grab the right piece because I'm going to try to pull this through. I'm like, okay, Pat, you get to go to Bass Pro. You're going to have to let me go into Hobby Lobby or something because i got some projects I want to do. I've got the template ready for next week. I'm excited about it. Okay, so now that we've got that pulled through, um, we're going to tie that in, guys, and then we're going to test this baby out. I'm so excited. If I can get it tied. Okay. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Lisa. Give me a wave, girl, so that you can be entered in the drawing, okay? Okay, you guys ready to test it out a little bit? Here, let us let me get on the... Okay, so, what do y'all think? Is that not the cutest little thing? I know my lighting is so bad, but okay, let's test it out. Does it work? <gasps> it works! Yay! So, all you gotta do now is just fill that baby up with all kinds of goodies. Chloe's like, I like Dove Chocolate Mom. 
<laughs> so you could like for Valentine's Day, I may let's see. For Valentine's Day, I had made these. This one don't have the drawstring in it. Very cute. It's got like faith, hope, and love. And then I made these for the kids. And then I have some patchwork um, ones. I don't know where I put those. But anyway, so cute. So how easy is that, you guys? You could totally do this in no time. Like the first time, it might take you a little bit. But if you're going to make multiple of these, you guys could do this quickly. An easy way to use some maybe even scrap fabric if you have some fat quarters laying around and you're like, oh, that would be so cute together. You could be so creative and you could make these and give these as little um, inexpensive gifts. Totally, totally worth it. So I'm going to take, just going to kind of clean it up, you know, lint roller, clean it up and let's do the drawing. Let's do the drawing. Someone's going to win this awesome little gift bag. Um in our giveaway so i'm gonna just kind of see here i hope you guys have commented um thank you for commenting thank you for commenting uh okay let's see if this is gonna work i'm going to go to the comment thing i'm gonna refresh it and make sure that it's gonna pick up everybody's comments i gotta make sure i select the right video um there we go Okay, so I'm going to put it up so that you guys can see what is happening on my screen so that you know that this is fair and equal and that I am not picking the winner myself. Okay, that's the, I want to make sure this is right. So I'm going to click you over to the giveaway. You're going to be able to see my screen, I hope. Is that right? Are you guys going to be able to see my screen? I hope so. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Random winner, Cindy. Oh my goodness, yay! Cindy, you're the winner. Can you see your name? You can't see your name, can you? Because I have my screen in the way. There you go. Oh, my thing's not working. Okay, that, that headshot, that camera's not working. So Cindy, you won this. I know you could probably make it yourself, but I want to give it to you, so I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna send it to you anyway. So if you would just um, message me your mailing address or wherever you want to send this to, um, and your email if you want to track it. So I'm so excited. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray over it. I'm gonna pray over you. I'm gonna pray over this, and uh, I just pray blessings over you and your family. And I want to say thank you for watching tonight's little tutorial. Um, and I can't wait to do it again next week. Guys, this was fun. I love this. Um, even though, you know, we had a few little things happen in the first of it. But, you know, I was like, oh, no, we can't start the live stream this way. <laughs> but it all worked out. So I'm going to pray over uh, Cindy and this bag. And um, that's it, guys. It's good to go. You guys, you guys are just so awesome for coming on with me. Um, Congratulations! Okay, Father God, I just thank you for um, putting this creativeness inside of all of us. So, Lord, I pray, Lord, those that um, have a creative mind, Father, that you will um, help them explore it and expand it and give more unique and crafty ideas, Father. I think about all the designs that you've laid out, Father. Even the, like the temple designs, the Ark of the Covenant designs, everything, Lord, that, that you build, it had detail and it had meaning. So, Father, I praise you that you've given us that same creative spirit that is within us. So, Father, I pray over Cindy. I pray over this fabric that is going to be um, placed in her hands. Father, and I pray blessings into her family, into her life, into her future, Father. And I pray that she will be successful and everything that she puts her hands to will be a blessing. And I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Cindy, I'm so happy you won. Um, okay, guys, that's it. I'm so glad you watched. You stuck it out with me. Um, next week, oh, I was going to show you some fabric that I got. Last week, I showed my favorite sequin fabric. But this is some that I got at Joann's. 
it's like, can you see it? It's getting dark in here. So it's a very patriotic theme, and this is what we're going to do next week's project in. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is yet. I'm going to make you wait. <laughs> But it's going to be adorable. It's going to be fun. And I hope Patrick is here so that he can help me make this. So God bless you guys. Thanks for hanging out, watching my stream. Thanks for your support. Like, share, do all those things. Um, and God bless.